Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. Now, in many ways, I think of this month as helping you to get clear. And at the same time, you may not realize where there actually is a lot of confusion and a lack of clarity at play. Next month is huge. We are going to have eclipses and that is going to be a time when things are going to start to look a whole lot different and you'll be seeing more profoundly, uh, more with a lens of how your own past is coloring what you understand today. But that doesn't mean that this month is a wash, far from it. This is a time when you are having important conversations and realizations, a time when you are starting to understand what ultimately guides your life, the, the philosophy, the principles. And in that, helping to place yourself right where you are today. It is a month where you may surprise yourself and others by willingness to have conversations that would otherwise be hard. However, where it is that you're hoping to make a solid agreement, that is when you may need to step back just a little bit. So let's take it one at a time. I want to start with the new moon happening early this month, right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have a new moon. Now this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding what your unique voice is. It has to do with communication of all kinds, learning new skills, and the people covered here are your siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Now this is also part of the sky that has to do with agreements and contracts. The thing is with the new moon, we do have Neptune speaking to this new moon in a conversation of tension, which does suggest not necessarily seeing things accurately or even missing uh, some key details that may need to be important in the fullness of time. Now this is energy that's actually been with us a little bit over the course of the weeks leading up to this new moon. And even though this new moon should provide clarity, right? It should provide a bit of a break from energy that might have been confusing and mixed messages all around that might have been there for you. Because Neptune is still active, it is just as you feel like you have the clarity, just as you feel like the energy has shifted in important ways that you may not actually realize uh, that there are still some details that may be overlooked. Now, of course, you want to trust your life um, and know that if it is that there are certain agreements that need to be made, certain papers that need to be signed, well, it is about trusting the moment, of course. However, at the same time, as much as possible, to give yourself that little bit of space, knowing that you will understand and you will find your way forward. And that detail sometimes, even though they're overlooked in the moment, well, even that can actually end up being a good thing as you will come to understand as you navigate through this month. Now, as we move to the very middle of the month, that is when we are going to have this month's full moon. And this full moon is happening in a particularly optimistic part of your sky. It is a part of the sky that has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning and legal matters as well. Now this full moon is happening hand in hand with Jupiter. There's a lot of optimism. In fact, the hopeful energy is especially high and that can allow you to really feel like the world is yours. But again, we've got Neptune. Again, Neptune is speaking with this full moon in a connection of some tension, which makes it a little bit challenging, uh, which means that any kind of very decisive information or plans that are being made, especially in relation to these particular subjects that I've mentioned, uh, well, they may not necessarily be as clear, as precise as you may like. Now, I would like to add another layer to this. Uh, it really is within days that Mercury will enter shadow and it is going to be next month, right at the beginning of next month, that Mercury will go retro 
And so just when you think you have the answer and as much as you can focus more on right smack dab in the middle of the month as we're moving towards the full moon, the more you're tapping into this energy to your advantage. But given that Jupiter and Neptune really throughout this year are hanging out in a connection of tension. Now, this is something I spoke about in the year ahead horoscope as well for 2019. These two planets kind of hanging out. Uh, well, it does suggest that it's not necessarily energy you're going to be able to get away from and what that means is that yes this can be a powerful time to bring certain legal matters to a close uh, to bring certain long-term uh, efforts that you've been working on uh, to try and secure a more positive future for yourself as much as you've been trying to make that happen uh, and as wonderful as that is and as much as this can be a time of a sense of achievement and accomplishment that can be with you at the same time though, it's almost like there are uh, certain things there, uh, specifics there that may be overlooked at this time. But the great thing is, and the great thing is with life too, is that you always get another chance to get another look, to get another interpretation, to get another impression as well. Now there is another layer to this full moon and that is the fact that as we are under the light of the full moon, Neptune will be standing still in the sky days later going retrograde, making Neptunian energy that much more active and that much more on the surface. And what that means is confusion, okay? And I'm sorry to say, but it is a part of this month. On the one hand, it's inspired and dreamy, and that's how you can use this energy to your advantage. But at the same time, it's not necessarily a time of great clarity, and that really is okay as well. It can be a time of strong emotions for a lot of us, and that includes you. Now for you, Neptune is moving through the sign just before yours. It's a nice long stay that you have had since 2012, and you will have right into the middle of the next decade. But it is when Neptune changes directions that its energies are especially heightened. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with rest mainly. Uh, and I do think if you feel Feel more sleepy than you normally do it's probably good to get rest uh, it looks like there's a lot that's working out underneath the surface on a level of soul and psyche it isn't necessarily that you have to make sense of everything that you are feeling it's more about the integration and sometimes that is more than enough now this adds to the element of not realizing what is not clear and so as much as possible try not to hold people to any very uh, strident uh, commitments uh, try not to seal any kind of big agreements that really matter to you of course if it shows up for you trust your life however at the same time know that this can be a time when there's a sense that there's more to know but you wish you could put your finger on it and you don't quite know it yet. And that is really okay. It's really okay to not have that clarity under a sky like this. Your hope, your aspiration, your faith, your belief in a wise and loving universe is gonna be more than enough to navigate uh, what can be some emotional flows, some emotional up and downs, but it is ultimately your faith that is going to end up being the strength that'll help you to see the positive in whatever emotion it is that you are feeling. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is going to spend much of this month moving through the same part of the sky that we are going to have the new moon in early this month as well. Now, the great thing with Venus in this part of the sky, in addition to it being uh, compatible to you, uh, this has to do with communication. It's a mind level connections. It's connecting with people on a level of uh, companionship and even a sense of equality to it as well. There's a sense with this of you having a real understanding of others, uh, but ability to accept others as well. Now, where it is that you're connecting with people on a level of intellect, on a level of learning, 
even online connections, social media connections can feel very blessed with a month like this. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, I would say if there ever was a time to be online, to be interacting, uh, this really would be it. There are gonna be a couple of moments there, again, with this Neptunian energy where things are not as they necessarily appear on the surface. And so it would really be a good idea to meet people as soon as possible and to strive to meet people who are actually local to you uh, rather than people who live far away. That is when you're cultivating some of the best of this Venusian energy. For those of you who are getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, this can be a powerful time of truly getting to know them more on a mind level, talking to them more uh, and cultivating a spirit of companionship. And for those of you who are in an established bond, you know, when Venus moves into this part of the sky, it becomes that much easier to just talk to your partner, that much easier to truly have an understanding, uh, to be able to talk about things that otherwise can feel challenging or feel difficult. And in this, to find a real sense of companionship. And within that, finding a sure sense of moving in a direction of grounded longevity. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I love how your mind is especially active now. It is actually a really great time to use your imagination to find an outlet on a mind level, whether it is writing, whether it is talking to others a little bit more freely, a little bit more uh, from a perspective of genuine curiosity. That is what you want to trust now. It will lead you in a direction of not only knowing more than you did before, but actually welcoming in some truly powerful moments of synchronicity. And synchronicity is ultimately making a connection between what is happening in your life and the deeper spiritual lesson playing out. It is ultimately finding yourself in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it making all the difference. And with a month like this, synchronicity is strong and very much on your side. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.